Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to some more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 33, and we're in the Undead Settlement. Let's go through it and kill things, as we normally do. That's a thing you do in this game. Kill things, explore things, talk to Yul, because I could use more sorceries, and they're the first person that gives me sorceries. And also, save a bunch of these mooks from dogs. Well, sort of. I mean, I can... Yeah. Ow. I mentioned before fighting dogs is not a great idea, but sometimes you just have to. Sometimes you just don't have a choice. Also, you are going to be a pain in the ass if I don't stop you. Alright, there we... Or... That works, too. I mean, the lever on both sides works, so it's not like I'm missing a whole lot by going through, but... I don't want to go through here. I want to go back there, because I want to talk to Yul. And I'm not going to bother killing those guys. They do not drop souls. It's a bit of a utilitarian reason to not do so, but they don't drop souls. There's not much point. But you do. Ow. Well, it hurt you more than it hurt me. Ow. And again. Oh, alluring skulls. That would have been handy before. Actually, when is that handy now? Oh, okay, there's some areas in the Undead settlement I could see being handy, but for now... <laughs> Please, grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I'm... I'm right here. I am Yol of Londo, a pilgrim, as you can see, uh. only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use? Yep. Oh. I am honored, truly. I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Okay, cool. I can't remember if there's anything else. Oh, there is actually. Good thing I checked! There's stuff here. Hey, homer bones. Those aren't bad. They're not super expensive, they're not bad. And that's fair and keep. I think. Fair call? It. Yeah, I get there eventually. Way later in the game, because those are the burning towers of fair and keep, and I want to turn. That's like three areas from now. Anyway, back to the undead settlement, where we actually are, because we can deal with that at the moment. You know, it'd be kind of funny if you could actually jump down there, and if you had enough HP, or. I guess. I'm trying to remember if there's a ring that reduces fall damage, but I don't recall. I don't think there is. I mean, the Silver Cat ring might exist, but I kind of doubt it. Anyway, if you could drop down there and go to Farron Keep, that'd be kind of neat. That'd be obviously a massive sequence break. I doubt they'd let you do that, but it'd be still kind of neat. Even if it is kind of cheap. How many souls do I have? Okay, I'll talk to y'all when I get enough souls to possibly buy stuff. I don't even remember what they sell. They sell some sorceries... It's just good as a stopgap until you get the actual sorcerer trainer. But that's not until three or four. That's not until like two areas from now. So, yeah, this is a good stopgap. Don't need shields. I. Okay, there's that guy over there. We're into Thrall Country now. Aha, there you are. And what the. Okay, now you're dead. Yeah, this area is going to be a bit of a pain, although I don't know if I want to go down first. Because if I go down, there's some stuff to get. I think I'll do that. Kill these guys. And this guy. And there's a third near enough by. So the way I'm planning on doing this is to go through this whole area, and then there's a spot further south that I can take. Yay, Estus. Anyway, there's a spot further south that I can take. 
But I need to go up first because I need to get Lorda's bone so I can talk to Grey Rat and make Grey Rat go, Oh shit, my friend's dead. I need to go steal things to make myself feel better. Because that's how Grey Rat operates. Now I'll get that when I kill this guy. What the? Oh! They haven't fixed that bug yet? Okay. I mean, that's... That's a bug that was there from release, where sometimes someone would fall through that hole. Well, not hole, but just fall through that floor. But, whatever. So yeah, the plan is, go down there, because if I go to that tower, where that giant archer is... Do I have binoculars? I do, but I didn't set them up. Okay. But if I go over there, talk to that giant, then I end up getting myself an easy pass through to the boss fight. Because the giant is going to be fighting everyone else except me. Which is nice. Oh, and this is where you want to have... Oh, darn it. Oh. <laughs> well, I got two of them. I never said aiming was easy in this game. What the hell was that noise? It was like... I don't think those are them dying. Their death screams do not sound like that, but... That's fine. Uh, I can work with this. This, not so much. Ow. Well, as long as it doesn't hit me enough times that I get bleed, it should be fine. Ow. Yep, I got bleed. Damn, he moved fast. Oh, I was hoping I wouldn't have to deal with that evangelist in such bad situations, but I, I... I gotta run. I have to go back. Either that or I die. Alright, so... Let's try that again with less die. Oh, shoot. I kind of wish I hadn't been forced to retreat. Now to go to this area without having firebombs to help me. Well, without having explosive barrels to help me, but at least this time I can deal with this without this evangelist getting my way too much. I have sorceries! I'll sorcery you to death if you're gonna do that sort of retreating thing. Oh, crap. There we go. Another one of those, and... Now I've got you. And now you're dead. Ha-ha! <laughs> Get in my way again, will ya? Oh, is that a... What is a Mound Maker sign? Hey, they do exist! We have more of them! Not that I plan to actually use that in any way. I might become a Mountain Maker, though. I haven't decided yet. I mean, I might as well just grab the Covenant, because I can. Like, I know how to do- ow! I know how to do it, and I didn't do it in the in my first run, so... I can do it now. Alright, so the idea, right now, is that if I go through this bridge, and down there, there is a bonfire I can use as a nice staging point for most of the level. Not the area I was just in, but most of the rest of the level. And, okay, that's good. And you are going to die, too, because you didn't do anything to threaten me. Wait, that's backwards. I'm, I'm killing you for nothing. I mean, you have threatened me, just not effectually. And effectual threats. But I still take offense to that. Come on. You're gonna threaten me, at least, you know, make it, make it count. Make it something I'm gonna feel. I'll get that later. Right now, I have to worry about this dude. With a flamberge. It's a complete pain in the butt because they have weirdly delayed attacks. And they bleed. Because flamberge. Oh, ah, I thought I'd backstab you, but it doesn't matter. You're still dead. And I'm still not. So, ha. I've survived you. But yeah, I'm not even going to try to parry that thing. It's just not worth it. The attacks in that are 
quite delayed. They're mostly position based, so you can learn it based on how far it, it how far it is away from you, because that's the logic. But why? <laughs> Seriously, just why? Oh, that was that was kind of lucky, actually. <laughs> Got to be honest. I didn't expect the firebomb to work in my favor so much. Hey, more Estus. Doesn't matter, we got bonfire. But hey, more Estus. Might as well actually light the bonfire. I mean, sit at the bonfire because I keep making that mistake of not sitting at bonfires and then getting myself in a bad situation as a result. Actually, you know what? Let's talk to Yul. Because I want to see if Yul has something. They might. I can't remember. They have some sorceries, but I think they have maybe Great Solero. I'll have to see. Okay, so let's find out what Yul has. Besides a bunch of dialogue. Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. Well, thank you. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. Nah, you're from Londor. I don't trust you. Okay, so Heavy Soul Arrow I can't use yet, but could get. With a bit more intelligence, I could use it. I almost feel like I might as well just get the Heavy Soul Arrow now and then level up. Be safe, champion of Ash. Yeah, yeah, whatever. See ya. All right, well, I'll be back in the Nintendo settlement next time we meet. Actually, hey, great ride. Never mind. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well... <laughs> Now it's time I do my part, huh? Yep. Heavens. She was already dead. Yeah, sorry about that. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring. Oh, thank as, you. Well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm just going to deal with some stuff, so Goodbye, I will be back in the Undead <laughs> Settlement when I'm back. Well, let's continue then. So, we want to get to that giant. And that's a little bit of a tricky path, because there's a lot of things in my way. Actually, there's a dude I want to talk to up there first. Not going to do pyromancy, I don't think, but I might as well just have it for the sake of maybe doing pyromancy. Also, might as well have this here for the sake of practicing my parrying. Except if you're doing delayed attacks. Seriously? Okay, this is... This is something I really need to practice more. Actually, no, why am I practicing with this? There's a weapon very near here that I can just use instead. For the time being, let's just pick up Gornix. Hey, Gornix. Aha. Unkindled, are we? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? Eh, why not? <laughs> Most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> well, Cave certainly didn't hold you that well, did it? And now I have your axe. Never actually asked for that back, which is a bit strange. Oh, I feel like while I'm here, I almost might as well go back as well. Just to ah, get rid of some things. Ow! Possibly a mistake. How did that hit me? Oh, whatever. 
fire bombers are gone. The giant dude with the big bowl is gone. I'm not sure what to call that. And there's a guy here who's protecting something. I can't remember what. Some ring. It's like a... What the clutch rings? Fire clutch ring! But I'm not using fire, so I don't care. Because fire clutch rings increase your fire attack at the cost of your fire defense. Actually, just double check. Yeah. Actually, I can even show what exactly is going on. Yeah, your all your physical damage absorption is massively reduced. It's all in the red. So, with that... Actually, I want to grab a couple things. Because I want to go down there. Like, that area down there with all those guys, because that's where he leads to the tower. But then if I go over there, there's a thing I can knock off in order to get something else. I can't remember what. Something. Yeah. Ow. Seriously? Problem, of course, is that there's going to be a bunch of these guys. Who are pains in the butt. Okay. And now I'm going to kill you. Ah, come on. I mean, this is a weirdly semi-efficient way of doing things, because it does mean I have to go through a bunch of enemies in order to get to another area, in order to get to... And enemies with ranged attacks that are a pain in the butt. Thankfully, no one near as strong as the guy who was fighting me earlier with a big sword, but... Ow. Ah, crap. This is bad. This is bad. Hang on. Uh, 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 uh. Let me take cover. Ow. Okay, this isn't working at all. I hate fighting these guys. Especially when I have no Estus and no HP. Ah. <sighs> Well, that's gonna have to wait, I think. How did I lose all the HP in the back here? You gonna give any Estus? No. You suck. I mean, one thing I could do is fire arrows at them until they die. Or even fire soul arrows at them until they die. Because I can't get hit once. But I think if I knock over the thing I care about over in the back, then I'm still in a good spot. Where'd the other guy go? I must have fallen to their death. Cool. I can live with that. They can't, but I can. Where is that last gun, though? Because there's one that's firing knives at me that I cannot... I don't know if I can afford to... Oh, I can Good. There's another one. Unfortunately, because I've embered up, I can't ember again. So my other lifeline for HP is also gone. Ooh, which is understandably annoying. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, come on, lock on. Darn it. Well, at least I get embers I can use to heal up again. Hardest ending of the game, right here. That's the thing I was talking about before. There's actually, there's two things I want, but I don't know if I can get them both at the same time. Okay, so they're done. Finally get to this area without getting myself killed. Get the shield, and there's this dude. Another nana right, that's the hint to get to the 
Mound Maker's Covenant. I apparently haven't killed all of you yet. <sighs> Honestly, Thrall's the hardest enemy in the friggin' game. I would say, bar none. They are a pain in the butt. So there's two things I wanted to do. There's one is to go and get this this cage, which I actually have to go up again. Sorry, not the cage, the past the cage. There's an area, there's a body hanging there that has an item on it, and I want to get that body. So that's the first step. But I need to knock the body down. I don't kill this thing, I just walk behind it. I don't think it'll be hostile either. Nope, it's just hanging around. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to knock off this thing, and that'll fall down to about there. Which is right in front of the tower I was talking about. The other thing is to talk to this guy and go to the Mound Maker's Covenant, but I think that involves a load screen, and I think that would move this back up. So I'll see about doing this later. Ideally, I can just walk back, kill everything on the lower side... Oh, right, this is the path back. Kill everything on the lower side and then come back, although admittedly having no Estus makes that rather difficult. Well, it's in darn near impossible. You know what, given the circumstances, I might as well just talk to the Mound Maker's Covenant dude right now. Anyway, off to the cage! Because it's such a great idea to walk into random cages. Who knows what'll happen? Who knows what adventures and wonders you'll see if you walk into a cage? Usually, though, the answer is not much. But hey! Maybe we will have an exception! Well, sort of. Well, isn't this a pretty lake of fire? So, we are at the Mountain Maker's Covenant, and... We'll be coming back here later. Just... You'll see why. Although, actually, now that I think about it, I don't know. Maybe I don't get any easy way back. Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you sane folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow, posing as otherwise? <laughs> yes, yes, then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead? Well, all the more so. Beware, the shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go, take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit, you've better things to do, I'd hope. <laughs> this pit is for hollows and for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You've better things to do, I'd hope. <laughs> sure thing, Hodrick. Actually, come to think of it, do I? I wonder if there's another quest line I won't get if I use this covenant at all. Where the heck is covenant? Oh, it's the only covenant I have? Oh, yeah, right. I never got the where is the sunlight. I went the other way. Okay, well, this is a thing. Yeah, so the Mountain Maker's Covenant is basically one where you you get summoned as a purple shade, and when you do that, people then aren't sure necessarily what to do with you because you might kill them, you might help them, they don't know. They really have no idea. So that rather makes things a bit complicated. 
Anyway, I need to deal with some business with my souls, so I'll be back at the other bonfire. Hopefully being able to get to that area with the thralls and get that item again, but we'll see. Okay, I've knocked down the body. I don't think resting at a bonfire will reset the position of the body, so let's go get that body! And kill other things, and also talk to the giant, which is my first goal in the first place. But, as anyone who's watching my stuff for a while knows, I'm easily distracted. So, with that in mind... I'm gonna kind of try to avoid some of these things. Oh, I thought they'd break my fall. Not disappointing. Actually, come to think of it, there's a couple things I want to get down here, though. Because the best parrying weapon in the game is in this tunnel. I am not joking. I mean, I don't know how much I'm likely to use it, given how I've been playing so far. But it is in here. It's that white thing over there. It's no blade or anything, but it is apparently the best thing to use. The Cestus! Which I will equip for the foreseeable future. Where'd it go? Here it is. Well, that equipped, I should be in good shape. Yeah, apparently that is the best thing for reaction parry. It's got the long it's got the longest parry time, as long as the parrying dagger I was talking about earlier. And also has the the quickest or one of the quickest frames. For weapons, it's the quickest. I think target shield has the absolute fastest, but we're not using shields here. So, ooh, nice. Blood. Oh, that's super handy. Blood by ring reduces, increases bleed resistance by, like, 100. Which is nice. Nice 50% boost to bleed. Resist. But yeah, I'm going over here, too, because there's a shortcut here that'll get me to where I want to go far faster than where I've been so far. This area has a lot of bonfires in it. Like, absolute plethora of bonfires. So it's not really surprising that those are all coming up here. But anyway... Back to where I was, because I want to get that thing with the tower and... That's the priority. Get the tower, then walk to the boss fight, then kill the boss, and then get my, well, possibly favorite ring in the game. Because I need to kill that boss to be able to turn boss souls into items, and you can go fall. For all I care. Alright, so this is a bit tricky on account of bulls uses projectiles. I mean, I could try this? I kind of don't want to risk it. Ow. Seriously? Also, wow, that was close. So let's heal up. Ow. And be sensible at how we do this thing, because these guys do not get stunned if I can... If they can help it. Boy, am I glad I got that Bloodbite Ring. How the heck did that hitbox count as tagging me? Maybe I should be learning to parry these guys, because I kind of know how, but it's like... I'm clearly trying to just power through them rather than being smart about it. And that seems to be killing me. However, there's the body. And what was even on it in the first place? I'm curious. I'll talk to that guy later. Flamestone Plate Ring. Okay, that's... Actually good. Come in handy if I ever get by those fire bombers. Not that I have so far. Yeah, that massively imp improves my fire resistance. Awesome! Okay, that was worth it. That was all worth the effort. Now, let's get to that giant. Once I talk to the giant, there's some other areas over there I want to deal with. But for now, we have Siegbert. The Eternally Confused. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hey, Zigbert. Make life easier by taking that out in advance. Oh. Oh. 
Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Not in this life. Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Good read. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. This li- Well, I can help. Mostly by accident, but I can. But I need to talk to the giant myself. So, you can just end up in the middle level once I get down, which you will. And I'll deal with that in the next episode, not this one. It's This one's the boss fight and all the stuff that leads up to it. Next one, we'll go deal with the side quest with Katarina. I'm oh, sorry, with Siegbert of Katarina. Because he fights a demon. Who are you? I help any time. Awesome. Wow. That's a good view. Yeah, see, there's the demon down there. That thing right there? That's the thing I want to have killed. Actually, I can't see it with binoculars because I do not work with this well. Thanks. But yeah, you can see it over here. There's a demon. That ends up being a thing I fight, but I'll fight that after fighting the Great Wood over there. Let's go kill some wood. And double check there's nothing up here because I can't remember if any items exist, but I don't think they do. Nope, that's it. Alright, cool. And now to go back down. I should be hearing a hmm halfway down. Hmm. Hmm. Siegfried's just so easy to mock like that. But that's for later. That is actually the path out of the Undead Settlement. If I wanted to go to the Road of Sacrifices, I could. I don't really, but I could. Not yet. I will eventually. So the next thing is another one of those giant bull-wielding guys. Cage guys with no cage. And there's some dogs down here that I think of a luring skill. Oh, you know what? I could do if more for the fact that I missed the opportunity to do so. Is alluring skulls these guys. But that's the one dog, I think. Maybe two. Oh, there are two. Where the heck are you? Ow. Pfft. I was guessing as to where the heck this thing is. Working about as well as you'd expect. Oh, hey, and it's alluring skulls that you get for killing the thing that you could easily use alluring skulls to kill more easily. Well, now to get rid of the bull guy. Eventually. I mean, is there a reason why I want to bother with this guy? I mean, I guess there's souls as a guy to kill. I don't know. Ow. That's why I wasn't so keen on this. Come on, throw it at me so I can heal up. Oh, heal up. So I can fight you in a parryable. Ah, screw it. It's like, I was like, fetch you in a terrible way, but it's like, you know what? How often does that even pay off? Really? Maybe the Cestus would make it pay off, but I haven't had much time to practice with that yet. Oh, hey. Decided to throw your stuff away anyway, but that doesn't matter because you aren't going to kill me. Didn't get much of a chance to practice the parrying, but I've done that enough this episode, so it's probably fine. I just get to watch you die. And if that sounds needlessly cruel, that's because it is! Wait, where's that? Oh, the lizard's down there, right. Yeah, there's a titanite lizard down there. I believe it is a heavy gem, which is a infusion to increase strength scaling. Of course, this is a dex build, so strength scaling isn't going to do me a whole lot of good. You're still here? Oh, yeah. I guess you would be still here. See what I mean? See what I mean? That was practically on reaction, and it still worked. This weapon is awesome. Why did I ever think about the pairing dagger in the first place? All right, cool. I mean, I can also punch people with it. Bah. Bah. But I mean, I was planning on having my offhand weapon be just parrying anyway. It'd be a parrying dagger or this thing. And the only difference is that parrying dagger requires that you predict more. Like, it's not a huge improvement. Like, actually, it's a slight downgrade. The only upside, I think, is that Cestus, or Cestus, I believe, is a strength-based weapon. Or, no! It's more of a dex-based weapon, apparently. 
I mean, not that I care hugely, but it is, so that's the thing. Anyway, again, I need to buy some stuff. So be back in a sec. When we're back, Gravat's gone off thieving, and I'm going to have to fight Hodrick because they've gone mad. That was the guy who told me about the Covenant, by the way, in case you... Oops. Ah. Ow. Why did the parry not work? What the heck? Alright, just need to get over here. Come on. Ah! There we go! A nice parry for ya! What? Ah! No! Turnabout isn't fair play! Come on! Ow! Oh, crap. Ah, thanks a lot. Must you... Darn it! Ah, this is... I hate this part of the fight. It's because it's a stupid guy in the side I can't deal with at the same time. I can deal with one of you, not both of you. You get out of here. I can just have Hodrick kill themselves for all I care. Ow. Oh crap, I'm out of everything. Are you gonna die? There you go. That's dying. That's how you die. It's probably rubbish, but... Oh, thanks! That helps both of us, you know. Oh, right! Poise is a thing now! Oops. Forgot about that. Also, what am I doing? Why not just, like, solar you to death? I can. Sort of. Actually, I guess I can't, because you have warmth. Ah! Ow! Is warmth still available? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. I can benefit. Oh, this is such an annoying fight. Darn it! Ah! Man. So one thing that makes the end of settlement really annoying is this only net Hodrick fight, because it's like, I'm not really at the level to fight this guy. Especially with an enemy there. It's like, ugh. I could probably do it without the enemy nearby. But having the enemy nearby just does not make it work. Granted, I can choose which way I want to do it, though. That's the one thing. Because if I ember up after I kill this thing, then I can do it more easily. Step one, get rid of the saw-wielding giant. Oh, that is so nice to be able to parry when I feel like I should parry. I can actually use my muscle memory that I've gained over the course of hundreds of hours of playing Bloodborne. Sort of, but close enough. Ah! I'm almost dying. Hang on. Muscle memory is not working quite as well as I thought it had. Okay, there we go. Now you're done. I can enter up. And then Hodrick should show up. There it is, okay. Now step two, dealing with Hodrick. And backstab! It's cheap, but it works. And double hit. Not quite as cheap, but still functional. And you're two-handing, so good luck trying to- Oh! Crap, you're not two-handing. Well, he didn't visceral- or not visceral, he didn't critical attack me. You did, however, heal, and that's really annoying. Must you heal? That's one thing I don't like about fighting NPCs. So they don't follow the actual player etiquette of not healing up when they're- when they're in a fight. It's like- that is so rude. Like, there's a reason why that's not a thing you do in honorable duels. Because, oh good. Huh. I mean, clearly this is not an honorable duel, so screw it, I'm not gonna take the high road in this one. 
I'm gonna kill you. There we go. Bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but it works. And I got a vertebra shackle if I so chose to have one. Okay. Got rid of that guy. Pain in the butt, dead. And I'm actually doing okay for Estus. Actually, really? Oh, wow. My Estus is fully there. The only thing I had to use an ember, but those are reasonably frequent enough that I don't have to worry about it. Thank you, giant buddies. Thank you. Bam. That is so handy. See? Embers. They're just everywhere. Why worry? Also, the really nice thing is that talking to him, which is a bit of a video gamey thing, but talking to him actually gives a gives my gives me damage protection. Like I don't get killed if I've talked to him and he's helped me out here. Now to get the undead bone shards. Yeah, I got the name right this time. And that is it. I don't know why I keep calling it Sublime Bone Dust, because I didn't like Dark Souls 2 that much. It's not I mean, I've played Dark Souls 3 more than Dark Souls 2. Just barely, mind you. That game is so long. But I've still got that name in my head. And there's another Flambear's wielding thrall around here somewhere. Where? Ah, there. Ow! Seriously? Not a fan of you the best of times. But I should be able to get rid of you now. Okay, I need to do it on reaction to... <sighs> not quite on reaction. Not quite on reaction. It's not gonna work. Also, I'm gonna get bled if I am not careful. Oh, when do you hit? That is the one thing I'm still a bit annoyed by in Dark Souls 3's design. Delayed attacks. They just seem... I don't know why they're there. They just seem weird. Did I get anything there that I cared about? No, it was just a shield. I don't care about shields. First time I had fun in Dark Souls was when I didn't use a shield. And ashes, I do care about those, because I believe that gives me the key to the area that I get to Irene and Egon. The area in the bottom I was talking about before. And that's something I will get to. I want to get to it. Just thinking if I want to go for the boss fight right now or not. Might as well open the door to the boss fight. Yeah. And I think the boss fight will be a one and done. I'm fairly confident in my ability to do that fight. Well, last couple times I tried, it was one and done. But I might as well open up the shortcut just in case. Giant, are you... Oh, there it is. Get hit. Bam. There we go. Let my giant buddy do all the work. Why not? I mean, I asked them to, and they're nice about it, so I might as well just have them do the work. Alright, got Great Scythe, which I'm not going to use, likely, maybe, I don't know, actually, what is the Great Scythe stats? No, I need more strength. I'm not planning on leveling up strength very much, if at all. Maybe, like, two points for one specific weapon. And that is that, so... We have the shortcut, we have the boss fight. Mm, this is tempting. I mean, it's a boss fight I could probably do in one go, and I've got all my Estus. I just also have thousands of Echo. So that's, I knew I'd make that mistake. Thousands of souls available. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Well, I'm full up on. No, I'm not full up on Estus. Never mind. I'm actually three Estus, which is. Oh. Well, it's not terrible. It's not great. It's not upgraded Estus. Blah. Well, okay, if I die here, I'm probably not gonna die too much else, and I have some other souls I can work with if I need to. And most of the things I, I would do at Firelink don't require souls, so let's just go for it. And hope I'm not being overconfident. Because this fight is not terribly difficult if I'm able to nail it just right. Which I usually am. I could use more stamina. Ah. 
Okay, this might have been a mistake. Two Estes for a major boss fight. Hmm. Can I still turn back? I can still turn back. If I'm feeling underconfident, I can still turn back. Although I probably will get Estus off of one of these guys. Actually, I might as well kill this one over here, because this is going to be the biggest troublemaker. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And yeah, you're dead. Okay. Uh, now I've lost all the chance of turning back. But that's fine. The Great Witch should kill all these guys without too much trouble. Assuming it does do the attacks I want it to. So you're dead, and you're going to be doing a thing with a foot. There we go. I was waiting for that. And that's one of the attacks that I wanted to do for me. All right. Do your worst. I said... That's your best, not your worst. Ow! Perhaps I should have been more clear in my phrasing. Okay, that's two. Gotta be careful now, because I want to kill... I want to get the bit between its legs. Because that bit, if it goes down, is going to start the next phase of the fight, which is a way easier phase. In theory. Again, in theory, assuming it does the moves I want it to. I mean, it's a phase I've done much more work in actually optimizing my approach to... Come on. Ah, oh, seriously? That's a hitbox? It's not Chalice Dungeon boss bed, but still... Okay, what? This is what I mean. I don't like this phase. There are too many enemies. I can't deal with all this stuff. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, I've jeopardized this fight. I can't get... I can't get through this. Oh, how are you hitting me? Okay, that's... I figured that would happen if I didn't get the next phase. Get my souls... Deal with a couple of these guys. They're pains in the butt. Surprised I'm not able to get a backstab in, but I might be running too much. And then kill the thing. I can't remember what exactly triggers it, if it's the number of kills on these mooks. Or if it's... I think it's the number of kills on the mooks. Oh, for crying out loud, I hate your pitchfork. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't really care. What I care about is this guy who's actually facing a really inconvenient direction. Convenient direction would be if they were facing towards here, so I can get over and get this hand. What are you doing? Okay, doing that. That move, which means I can do this. Which opens you up for more attacks on your groin. What? Okay. And then I should be able to work the groin enough to actually kill you, hopefully. Why that's not working is beyond me. Are you going to do a swing? Okay, it really helps if you actually stop the other enemies that are ostensibly working with you. Or I guess they're worshipping you, actually. That's how it's supposed to work, I think? It's like they're... Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. We're on a stage two. I just need to heal up. And not get hit, ideally. Oh, that stupid cleaver. Alright, there we go. It's a bunch of kills, hopefully a bunch of Estus. No, it's not. So the trick with this phase... Ow! The trick with this phase is apparently that I can't tell how far away things are. Sheesh, I meant... The trick is that it stands up. At some point it'll stand up. And... When that happens... If it happens... Come on, you. I'm trying to prove a point here. That's not standing up. Because if it stands up, there's a bunch of pustules I can get when it stands. And oh, for crying out loud. You have got to be kidding me. You're supposed to be easy. It's supposed to stand up. I don't know why it's not standing up. That's the thing it's supposed to do. It stands up, 
drops down, I kill its elbows. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh, just killing that thing? Really? Maybe it's a proximity question. Okay, good. It's cooperating somewhat. Okay, good, good, good. Ow! Bad. It's supposed to just sweep attacks. That's what's bugging me. There's attacks it's not doing that if it did would make life a lot easier. Like, a lot of sweep around attacks that it often does, and it's not doing them. Like, the kick is going to help, because it's going to kill a couple of the enemies that are causing me problems. And that butt stomp's going to help. Or no, well, it'll help a little bit. There we go! Thank you! Okay. That's what I was looking for. Now the question is, can I actually sorcery your crotch area? And there's no aim point there. Okay, maybe not. What? Okay. And this should be enough. There we go. Okay, we're on a stage two. And I'm in pain. But we're on a stage two. That's just take so bloody long to work. Okay. On to stage two. And get some pot shots off at least. Ah! Ah, no! Okay. Okay. We're good. It's sort of good. Ah! No, we're not good. We're not good. Ow. That's that's a giant tree on me. And now the giant tree dropping a bunch of poison blobs. Ah! And the rest of it, I'm gonna have to wait until they stand up. Or go for the arm. But I think we go far enough away. It'll, there we go! Thank you! Now, was it left side or right side? It was whatever side I'm on. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, go for it again. Oh, that's a... That's a butt stomp. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. But I might as well just play it safe and grab my souls. And then power up for a giant heavy soul arrow that hits for loads of damage? No? That's... Less than ideal, but I think I can actually nail... Yeah! Ha ha! That's what should have happened. And ultimately did. Huzzah! We have killed the Curse Rider of Great Wood. A little bit harder than I thought it would, but hey, we killed it and... Well, this place is familiar. Now, like I said, we'd be back here at some point. But yeah, so that is going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and see you the next one. With a few extra rings and a bunch of extra levels, because wow, I've got a lot of souls to work with now. Bye for now!